Well, I finally got a decent day. Where it's in the 40s. Yesterday it was like 50. The day before it was like 40. And now the ice in the top of the pool here has melted. And it's water. And I thought to myself, I've been wanting to do the demonstration on the Lockator jump pack for quite a while. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you are new, new here and don't know what I'm talking about. And it is a jump pack with a with an actual pump in the bottom of it. Not an air pump. It does air up tires as well. Plus it's a 2500 amp peak power jump pack. Jump starts diesel trucks and everything. It also has a power washer in the bottom of it. It's like 2.3 or 2.4 gallons per minute. It pumps pretty good. It comes with a garden wand, a garden space. Let's let me show you real quick. Let's unbox it. It's been sitting around. I've been using it for about four months now. And uh, it's pretty impressive. It comes in a box like this. When you open it up. The one thing I don't like about it is if you wanted to have a carrying bag, you don't have a carrying bag. The system itself is the carrying bag. So what are you going to do? Carry around this box and the accessories everywhere you go? It'd be nice to have a big giant bag to have it all stored in. So you can just pick the, the, the whole thing up and go and then just drop it right back in the bag and not have to worry about putting it in this box of foam over and over again. That's the downfall to it for me. There's your pickup tube for your water pump with your filtration screen. Here is your pressure line that goes to your garden spigot here's the spigot head quick connect here's your air line that goes to your tires whenever you need to inflate them um, it comes with all kinds of goodies and charging adapters and cigarette lighter ports uh, different nozzles that you can hook on the end of the airline for like blowing up beach balls or like that pool uh the balloon that's in here so let's get it out of here let me get this dropped on the ground here there's one package that's missing that's inside the house and it's a different it's a bunch of different plastic fittings that go in the end of the airline that are for like beach balls and stuff like that bigger equipment there's a fuse in here too for a replaceable fuse for the unit. Now it's been a little bit since I've touched this unit. Let's go over it together. There's a big light here on the side that you can carry this thing around like almost like a spotlight, you know. Hold this button down and then really bright light comes on. It's, it's bright. Flashes. Has different modes. If you're broke down on the side of the road. This is flickering, the camera's picking it up, but to the naked eye, you don't actually see that. Um, it's the visual effect of how it picks up like LED stuff and everything else. Okay, so now the next step that we're going to go to is if you wanted to activate the pump, you would... Okay, my little girl came up behind me. They just got done riding bikes, so they're making a little bit of noise. I told them just keep it down a little bit. Um, so there's a wash button here, and then there's a pump button here. So if I wanted to, I could go through here, and I could change the PSI on this to whatever I wanted. And then I could literally click pump. Hold the pump button down. Hit the power button, I guess. So pump on. Turn it off. It pumps really quick, too. There's a lot of air coming out of that. Um, and then it gives you a live readout of what's going on. It's just a standard clip style. Metal end. Screw in style. This screws right onto the end of this fitting right over here on the side. And then you can look at different in and out. Fact still power. USB, Type-C, and it does all kinds of different things. You'd have to read the manual to see every little thing that's going on with it. And then here is your pump out. 
and that's your inlet. Let's go ahead and hook our suction line up to our inlet line right here on the back of this pump. I suppose through the process of unboxing and learning, you start figuring what you don't know out, right? Uh, yeah, those plastic fittings that were in the baggie that come inside it, they're not bigger inflatable pieces. The only inflatable pieces you get is that one little case this here and then these are the adapters that go into that to from the hose to the machine so let me hook those up real quick and we'll be back what you got to do is you got to take one of these fittings and you got to drop the o-ring down inside it and it looks like so and then it's threaded so when you find your port you screw it onto your port and then your quick connect line attaches to that so you'll end up with something like this. This is screwed on nice and tight. All right, got a little bit more out of it right there. This is screwed on nice and tight. I've got my garden hose end on here. It's got all kind of different settings, cone, shower, center, stream. So not a bad little setup. Now let's go, get and, go ahead and get our filtered end set up. They put a big old nut on top of it to keep it weighted so it stays down, but Honestly, when it's fresh out of the box like this and cold, it's going to try to hold that kinked form unless you heat it up. That nut alone is not going to be enough to keep it down in there. We'll just take our end here, throw it over in our pool. We're about, uh, I want to say a good solid 8 inches, 10 inches down. Bring our pump over here, hit the power button. Go ahead and click this in. So now it's connected. I wonder if we could just hit pump and it just start pumping out, you know. Let's go over here. Let's drag it this way. see what we got and it gives you a live timer on what actually is left of the battery so you can keep track of how much so now we got it on probably has to prime well, it's taking a while to suck that stuff up inside there. Maybe it needs this other side for some kind of restriction. Let's find out. Let's find out if that's it. I don't know if you have to prime the system on this or not. So it is pumping out. And it's not going to be pretty what I did. While this thing was turned on, I actually had to suck on that nozzle. And I felt some, like, restriction. And I was like, wait a second. This shouldn't feel... It should be helping me, you know, suck. But it wasn't, it was fighting me. And one or two times of doing it, it did it again. I felt it start to give, I felt it start to give. And there was a valve inside that that got stuck from sitting so long. Look how fast that is pumping. That is pumping fast. And then all of a sudden it popped free and then you could hear all the air gush out and now it's pumping like crazy. I hooked our quick connect up for the wand. Well, leaking a little bit up there. Wow, that's, that's pretty dang good. Shoots out about 10, 12 feet, maybe more of 12, 14 feet. So if you needed to wash your car, you needed to wash down an engine bay while you were out in the field or something like that, this thing right here is money, man. Let's put it back on wide open. And it's got a pressure thing inside there so you won't burn up the pump. 
I'd probably just leave it leaking so it would turn on and off on its own. But it's it, it can sense. Needs a little bit more of those two plastic fittings. Need a little bit more of a snug. It won't leak on the suction side, but it will leak on the pressure side. So that's how you, you know, you don't quite have it tight enough yet. And just so you guys can see it start up once I freed that valve inside there by sucking on it, and sucking on it, and sucking on it again, and it went, and it freed up. But it's from it's been sitting so long. So unless you actually give it a little, sounds terrible, suck on the end of that nipple, and try to help pull that valve open whatever's inside there so that water can start flowing it may stick on you comes out quick kind of violent and then there's your live meter on the top 49 minutes of runtime left and this is where we're at with the pool and we've already decreased the line over there by about half an inch so far more of a down slope right there than over here all right we went inside we got the kids fed this thing's been running I don't know half hour 45 minutes <laughs> Down to 22%. And we've dropped down from up there all the way down there. You can see the dirt line right there. All the way down. Now you can actually see the leaves and stuff in the bottom of the pool. So what we'll end up having to do is we'll end up having to go back in there charge it back up and do it again and then we can see how long it takes to charge from zero we are about an hour in now I think now is probably a good time to stop and charge it where it's at you can see the stream is getting kind of weak I mean, it's still shooting out there pretty good, but it looks like it's starting to thin out up here. Maybe it's me, I don't know. Well, it finally ran out and it gave us a little red battery light up here in this corner, this little white bar. So let's plug it in, take it in the house. And see how long it takes to charge it it is currently 1 in the afternoon i'm gonna go stick it on the type c charger but i'm gonna put it on a bigger type c charger i'm gonna put it on a uh laptop lenovo one a high speed one you can find these speed chargers here on amazon oh. it's like it's a 65 watt USB type C power adapter. It goes to like a uh, laptop. But people have been using them to fast charge their phones because now the phones are actually increasing their rate of charge as well. But I have a big battery pack on the back of this phone right here, which is like a 8500. I don't know if it's like an 8500 amp hour or something. It's a huge battery pack. So I need something big like that to power the phone and charge the battery pack so I'm gonna use that to charge this as you can see here and see how long it takes well we were gone for about an hour and a half let me see when we put it on we put it on we were gone for two and a half hours and with this bigger Lenovo charger in two and a half hours this was completely charged now I could have missed it 
This could have been done like an hour ago, and I just don't know it because I wasn't here watching it the whole time. But within two and a half hours with this particular charger, this thing's already up to 100% charge. So I just got done running it another hour, and it still has a full bar left. So it gives you an estimated amount of time. So when you first start it on a full charge, it'll say like 59 minutes. Well, it's been running 60, 61, 62 minutes. And it still has 18 minutes of runtime. Pretty surprised it's just doing a heck of a job pumping the water out of that pool. So let's run it again. All right, so I'm confident it's less than two hours because we've been going an hour and 50 minutes this time and it's already full charged with this charger. So let me go stick it back on the pool. Well, it's been like an hour and 20 minutes and this thing has went longer than the time frame that it says it had on the window. Because when I turned this on, what was it like? What did I say it was like 8.30 or 8.40? And right now it's 9.53. So it's an hour, been an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes and it's still running. That's crazy. Oh yeah. So it'll go longer than what the actual display says on here. It's going to be at a, about an hour and a half by the time it's done. Oh yeah, it ain't got very much water left. Slow and steady wins the race, right? I took it off with 8 on the clock this time, so... I'm just going to take it back in the way it is now. It had eight minutes left of runtime or projected, I mean, 8%. No, eight minutes of runtime. But I'm going to see from eight minutes to full charge how long it takes and kind of keep track of it. Well, with this upgraded, like I've referenced several times in this video, charger or higher capacity or higher charging rate charger, this took exactly one hour to fully charge. So I'm going to take it and put it back on the pool again. Well, I've let it run for about another hour and it was down to about 10 percent or 10 minutes so i figured i'd just go ahead and bring it in see if it still is the same consistency this pump is just pumping like crazy man it's really working this is this was worth every bit of what i paid but i looked today and i actually just found out they dropped the price down and when i bought it it was four four thirty or something like that uh but today I seen it was down to two ninety nine ninety nine, and then if you click the little box button, and you don't have an Amazon Prime account, uh, and you sign up for one, they'll give you like fifty dollars off. So no matter what, you're saving a hundred and hundred and thirty dollars over what I did. But then if you start an Amazon Prime account and click on the box, you get another fifty dollars off, and you can get this thing for like I don't know two hundred and fifty bucks. But it's just pumping like crazy. So we're going to go again. Let it charge. Yeah, we did it again. Right at one hour, it was max fully charged. This time, it seemed like it was a little bit less, like about five minutes less. Because instead of charging it at 8, I charged it at 10. So let's put it back on there again. Let's go pump some more water. <laughs> This is your charge ports right here, your Type-C and your USB. And then, I don't know what this is yet. Some type of power source. And then over here is where your jumper cables go. This is your air pump fitting. You just screw your airline in right here on the side, like I said earlier in the video. You hold down this pump button, it turns the pump on. You use this to set your pressure. You can change 
your settings to bar or PSI here, and this turns on your washer pump over here. And this turns on the light on the side. Well, it's the next morning. I turned it on a little bit. I just got tired last night. I was up until 3 o'clock trying to get all this stuff done. Turn this thing back on. Let me clean out this filter a little bit. Well, it did great. It's at the end of its rope right now. Road, rope, whatever. There's not very much left. You want to leave a little bit of weight on the top of the cover because it helps hold it down better than just the balloon so it doesn't wave all over the place. And I was trying to get ahead of the game with getting as much water out as possible, but leaving just a little bit in there um, just to kind of help weight that down and keep it from flopping all over the place when the wind comes through. This has been running for hell six hours straight and it hadn't even made it what 12 hours yet since last night and it's run half the time since last night and this little pump right here has taken every bit of the abuse that i've sent its way and it's still ticking even with the filter mainly plugged up right now it's still pulling i think i can i think i can i think i can and it's still going so i have to give this thing a five star review i've been using it to jump diesels and stuff like that I've been using it as a tire inflator in the six vehicles that we have and now this pump to pump out the water in the top of the pool. I know it's a, it's not the right tool for this job, but it worked and it got torture tested and it's been running every bit of just phenomenal since I've been running it. They're down to about $270 on Amazon right now. Anyway, I bought it for $430 about six months ago or so, or something like that. Uh, so the price has come down substantially and we're going to call it quits right here and say we're going to tie it up. It's a phenomenal little tool if you guys haven't tried it out. If you're in the market for a jump pack that has a washer pump in it, 2.4 gallons per minute, plus a tire inflator and a big giant light on the side of it, this is the tool for you right here. Y'all be blessed. Take care. And I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been a little crazy. I've never torture tested anything or this is not the intended purpose of this thing. I have literally abused this thing. It charges very fast with a charger that I use. I recommend you guys check out the charger that I have. Uh, it's actually a laptop type C charger, but I use it for charging stuff like big giant battery packs or jumper packs or something like that. It charges them very, very quick. Uh, cuts the time down substantially uh, with the charger that I use. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's so long, but I wanted to do something a little different. Be blessed.